What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with Power Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my first subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys, you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button and be notified for, for future readings. Just saying. This is a free general collective reading, caps to side you, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take, only take the messages that resonate with you. Free general collective reading. I uh, love you guys so much. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. You guys are just a bomb.com. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess to Run by. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash out, no Venmo. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you do it through my PayPal. I do not have the YouTube um, live on right now, so you can't do it publicly. But if you do it through my PayPal, it's very private and confidential. I just want to uh, make that very abundantly clear. I uh, love you guys so much. Just saying, my hair is looking all funky dunky this morning. Okay, so yeah, so um, I got another channel to end. They're flying in this morning, so um, I'm able to deliver them, so I'm, I'm going to do it. Um, just saying, just saying. So I heard, um, basically, it's a free general collective reading, so only take the messages resonate. So I heard um, someone is about to be, I heard masculine energy, is about to be um, drowning in um child support soon um they're going to be very very upset about this um i heard um some of these people are about um they're about to get surprise petitions court petitions for child support um for children that are already in the universe for some they have pregnant uh, people who are currently pregnant and they will um they intuitively know these people are going to petition them for child support and they are right so you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. It's masculine energies. Now you could be the masculine energy that's, um, some are currently drowning in child support is what it sounds like. Some are going to be, um, however that resonates, but, um, for, for you or these masculine energies, it's masculine energies I'm pulling in here that are drowning, um, currently drowning in child support. Some are, some are going to be because they have people pregnant. I guess they're, they're not currently legally with, um, is what I'm presuming here. Um, so much so the other partner is going to, uh, or the other person, the other sexual person they're connected or was connected with that has currently gestating a child, um, uh, or already has, um, that they were sexually connected with is going to file for child support. I heard some of these children are already here. So some of these situations, for these masculine energies, whether you're the masculine energy or somebody connected to the masculine energy, they already have children in the universe, but the partner, this previous sexual partner has not petitioned the court for um, child support. Some of these masculine energies, the, um, the partner is currently pregnant. The sexual partner is currently pregnant, but it doesn't sound like they're together. Um, and that's why the sexual partner it sounds like once the child is born, it's going to petition the court for child support, which absolutely, yeah. I mean, yeah, just saying, just saying. I mean, yeah, I don't blame you, whoever you are, pregnant, current pregnant person or person that's about to petition the court for child support. Absolutely. Um, they help produce the child. They help produce the child. They should help pay for the child. And that's just the truth, for real, for real. Absolutely. So you plug it in however that resonates. You could be the person that's about to petition the court for child support. You could be the masculine energy that's drowning in child support. Or you could be the person currently pregnant, fem energy currently pregnant, that's, um, and you know intuitively inside yourself, you're going to petition the court for child support from this person. Um, you're not currently with this person, I'll tell you that. Whoever you are, fem energies over here, whether you currently have child or children by this masculine energy, or you're currently pregnant. You are not currently with this person, like as in a relationship. So they're either currently married or they're single or they're in a relationship. I don't know their relationship status over here. However, that plugs in and how, whatever you were to them, whether you were a fling, a one night stand, a third party, a friend. I mean, I don't know, but you're either currently pregnant by this masculine energy that's either currently drowning in child support or they're going to be. Or you already have child or children with the masculine energy that's currently drowning in child support or is about to be. So you have to plug yourself in wherever you fit, if you do fit. This is very, very messy. Very messy. 
but you plug it in however that resonates if that resonates for you but i don't judge anybody i don't judge anybody i just want to disclaimer that i'm not judging these situations i just don't want to be in these situations if that makes sense okay We have compassion reverse on the bottom of the deck. Compassion reverse. These masculine energies were highly, highly, highly manipulative in the past. Highly manipulative. These feminine energies are having huge wake up calls. They're about to take their personal power back. Oh my goodness. Whoa. So you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, Fem Energy. So whoever you are over here, Fem Energies, if you resonate with um, this situation, you could or could not. You every only you know your story. Only you know your story. So you have to plug yourself in wherever you fit. If you do, only you know your story, not anybody else. So whether you fit into this category, this category, um, and then you have the masculine over here. Just saying. But I heard these masculine energies were very um, unsympathetic, uncom uncompassionate unloving i think towards you or the situation in the past why um hopefully you get some back child support for the ones that currently have child or children with these um masculine energies that you're not getting child support from hopefully you get child back child support from them because that's that's some that's some crazy stuff just saying just saying um they should be should have been paying you child support a long time ago for the ones that have not petitioned the courts and you already have child or children by them um i would I, of course, you know, you can take it or leave the advice, but if it was me, I would petition for back to child support too. Um, you can take it or leave the advice. Just saying, just saying, because that's wrong. They should have been paying you child support a long time ago. Just saying, just saying. But I heard basically they were very unsympathetic, uncompassionate, and loving towards you in the past. Um, and um, I mean, I think towards the situation with the children, not obviously in a sexual one way. I mean, they're using their Ace of Wands energy real strong. Woo! Their penile energy real strong. They put the sexual energy out there to the damn universe. So much so it's producing children. So it's not the sexual energy that they are holding back from. Because obviously they love the sexual energy. It's the money part. But nay nay. If you produce a child, you should um you should pay for it. And that's the truth. So um yeah, so uncompassionate, unsympathetic, unloving. Now, whoever this masculine energy is to you, like I said, it could be it could have been it could be a current friend, a former friend, a situationship, a third party, an ex husband, ex fiance, ex partner, current. Well, I don't think it's a current. It's somebody you have been sexually connected to, to but you're not with them in the energetic space. So you plug it in how it resonates. Yeah, I would say so. If you produce a child, you should pay for the child. Just for real. Spirit messages you have for the collective. We have uh, generations and we have communion on the bottom of the deck. So this is the uh, telepathy card, the spiritual gifts card, the telepathy card, communion. Someone did not believe in telepathy and spiritual gifts in the past, but they know they're real now. They're about to make huge changes in their life, positive changes. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Uh, so whoever you are, you could uh, be this masculine energy that's either currently drowning in child support or is about to be drowning. Fem energy that 
currently has child or children by this masculine energy or feminine energy that's currently pregnant by this masculine energy, how that resonates or somebody connected to these people, how that resonates. But whoever you are, if this message, particular message resonates with you, I heard you did not believe in telepathic communication and spiritual gifts in the past, but your mindset has changed and now you believe in them. So something in the universe has uh, opened your eyes and made, and made you believe. Um, in spiritual gifts and telepathy. It sounds like you fought the idea in the past. It sounds like you maybe chalked it up to like somebody needs to be in the crazy house because they have uh, telepathic skills or tele they're able to telepathically connect, uh, connect with the spiritual realm or other people. Um, but it sounds like your viewpoint, is, your viewpoint has changed in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, and now you believe. Definitely believe. Definitely. Now. Okay, I heard definitely believe. Definitely believe now. So you definitely believe in telepathic communication and spiritual gifts now. Now, anybody doesn't know, spiritual gifts is what I do from the spiritual realm. Clear audience, clear voice, clear sentience, psychic medium abilities, dreamscape abilities. Um, that is gifts the spiritual realm blesses you with. If you open up your chakras and you meditate and clear your mind and you're able to receive the messages. If the spiritual realm chooses to bless you with them, basically. I didn't get, for anybody who doesn't know, I have a lot of newbies that recently joined my channel. Um, so for those that don't know, I did not start receiving my spiritual gifts until about March of 2020 when I was being gang stalked. Me and my children were being gang stalked out in the universe. Like, seriously. Um, I'm serious about that. I was 36 when it happened, um, but it's been the best thing that ever happened to me. It really has been. Um, it's been life-changing in a positive way for me. Um, but everybody handles them differently. Um, and that's just the truth. You have to be very strong mentally to, um, to be able to properly hone the, um, spiritual energy. Um, and that's just the truth. That's the truth. Um, so everybody handles them differently, but whoever you are, I heard basically, I think for some of you guys, you might receive downloads from the spiritual realm. I think you might receive downloads. Um, I think you might receive telepathic communication. Or spiritual downloads from the spiritual universe. Um, and I'm serious about that. So communion, telepathic communication, spiritual downloads, energy. Um, you didn't believe in the past, but you do now. And I think for some of you, the reason your, your viewpoint has changed is because I think you received them. For some. I didn't hear you did. That's just my intuition. Logic, reasoning, intuition on that. And I'm serious. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Ancestors. There's about to be huge family shifts here. Huge. Oh, whoa. And you saw that flip out of my hand. Everything happens in a reading for a reason. It just went, come on. Um, I heard there's about to be huge family shifts here. Huge. So, um, I think with the child support issues going on, I mean, there's about to be a lot of petitioning of court systems for child support. And I'm serious about that. Um, I am so serious about that. Um, I heard huge family shifts here, huge. So generations, this is a family card. Um, huge shifts in families. Um, uh, I think of spending. I think spending um, because these masculine energies, whether they're married, whether they're single, whether they have a partner, uh, like a common law marriage type thing or a domestic partner. Well, that's the same thing, domestic partnership or what have you, or they're single as a Pringle, or what have you, they're about, they're either, some are already paying out a wazoo, a child support, some are about to be, um, there's about to be less spending in their household, because they're about to pay out for all these kids, kid or kids, some are currently pregnant, whether it's you currently pregnant, some uh, of these fem energies, they're not getting any, any child support from these, um, mm. I, I want to say something, but I'm going to be very, um, I'm not going to be, mm, I'm going to keep my mouth shut, but I don't believe on this. I don't believe this. I don't, I mean, I do, I do believe it, but I don't believe in this is what I'm trying to say. I don't believe you should not pay for a child that you created. That's, that's what I could do. But kudos to whoever you are about to stand up to these crazies, these masculine crazies, because they should be held accountable for child support. Absolutely. And they're about to be. It's about to piss off some members of their family. 
Okay, I heard in they're about to be, it's about to piss off some members of their family. So they're about to be held accountable for child support. These people, these fem energies, whether it's you, fem energy, maybe you're one of these fem energies or not, or somebody connected to these fem energies. But these fem energies are about to hold these masculine energies accountable for child support. Um, and I heard they're about to be, but it's about to piss off some members of their family because they don't want, they want them to be catered to. Oh, poor me. I, you should have to pay child support. And better. Yes, you should. Yes, you should. Yes, you should. If you're a member of this person's family, yes, they should have to pay child support. Just to let you know, little news flash, reality check. Yes, they should have to pay child support. Absolutely. I don't know what planet y'all live on over here. These dudes should have to pay child support. They help make the child. It takes two to tango. Just to let everybody know. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. Huge, shocking series of chain events coming in some of these situations. Some of these masculine energies are going to end up behind bars. Gemini energy, Aquarius energy, Scorpio energy, masculine. Cancer energy. Whoa, holy crap. I heard a huge, shocking series of chain events are going to occur with these situations soon. Some of these masculine, ener masculine energies are going to end up behind bars. And I heard Gemini energy, Cancer energy, Scorpio energy, Aquarius energy, masculine. So I think it's some of these baby daddies or going to be baby daddies about to end up behind bars. Um, and the, some of these family members, they just love to cater to these masculine energies. They like to put their sexual energy out to everybody and not don't, don't want to pay child support, knocking people up, but don't want to pay child support. It sounds like they're about to be held accountable in the form of jail uh, for some of them. Um, I heard Cancer, Gemini, Aquarius, and Scorpio. So it's at least four masculine energies in the universe. It sounds like about to uh, go to jail over something. It might be because of the refusal of paying child support in the past, possibly, or it might be something else. Um, everybody's like on different time of life paths. You have to plug these situations in however they resonate. You could be this person, this person, these dudes about to go to jail, or somebody else connected to these people. You could be the crazy family over here, these people that just think they are just the best thing since sliced cheese, and they really don't put good out in the universe, and just expect them to skate through life with no responsibilities. Um, that's crazy in my opinion, but you plug it in how it resonates. So Gemini, Cancer, Scorpio, Aquarius. They could have Gemini, Cancer, Scorpio, or Aquarius in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Midham, or Jupiter charts. These are masculine energies. It sounds like they're going to end up behind bars soon um, in the universe. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, that is, hold on. I'll show you what it equates to in my opinion. The imprisonment card. Because I heard jail. I heard jail. So some of them might end up in prison, possibly. For some, they might be charged for something more serious. But I think in this situation, it might be child support. Um, or something else. And then series of chain of events with the child support down the line. Getting the child support. I mean, I don't know. Everybody's on different time of life paths. So you have, really have to plug these situations in, how it resonates. But they have some very catering family. Which is so freaking... Ugh. That's why I've been single for so long. That's why I've been divorced for so long. Um, I don't like the catering pansy families that just think, oh, yeah, they're the best thing ever, and they really haven't done crap positive for the universe. What? No. You should not enable somebody that doesn't want to help themselves in a positive manner. And that's just the truth. Just saying. All right. Well, I love you guys so much. I hope this helped. If you think anyone else could benefit from these messages, please share these videos on your social media and word of mouth. I very much appreciate it. Love you guys so much. I'm a single mom with two kids, so it really, really helps my channel grow. Love you guys. Namaste.